Harvard's academic requirements or academic framework is unique at its core because of the focus on interdisciplinary learning. So that means each student is really encouraged to design their own academic path from your first semester to your last semester. Your path, your academic path will never look identical to anyone else's. The focus on interdisciplinary learning allows students to choose two classes in three domains of knowledge. So one domain is focused on the natural sciences, the natural and physical world. Another domain is focused on the social sciences and really analysis of the social world. And then the third domain is focused more on the arts and humanities. And so it's up to you to choose two classes in each of those domains to complete that part of the, the academic requirements. And so that means you're free to choose the classes based on your own interests and you're never uh, really subject to take specific classes if you don't want to. And so that's kind of the fo that's where the focus on interdisciplinary learning comes from. It's really up to you to, to design your own academic path. Now, in addition to that component, you also do have three basic requirements you'll do during your first two years. So you'll choose a language of your choice and do that for a full year. You'll also do a writing seminar, a first year writing seminar, either for a semester for, or for a full year, depending on your placement, which in my opinion is a very important resource that Harvard offers because it helps students transition from high school level writing to college level writing, which isn't always an easy transition. But through that class, you learn to write in a more basically succinct, uh, brief, kind of short way, getting your words across or your ideas across in as little as little words as possible, which isn't always an easy thing to do. You learn, I guess, throughout your, your course at Haverford, but it's a really important skill, I think, for, for any class. And then the final class you'll do is a quantitative or symbolic reasonings class. And based off the, the naming of that requirement, it's really any class that has numbers or some sort of logic involved in it. Now, those are in terms of your general education requirements that you'll complete, most students complete throughout their first two years. And then after your first two years, you'll mostly be focused on your major requirements. So after you declare your major during your sophomore year, you will mostly focus on taking classes within your department or within your chosen major. Um, and each major has a different academic requirement uh, framework, uh, but usually it consists of taking some core classes and then a number of electives in that department.